Hello everyone. After six months of wait, the CSLDD is here. A hot topic that has been happening for some time now is the adapter for the boost kit. As uh, many have found out, it, there is nothing special to it. There is no uh, special electronics in it. It's a simple uh, 24 volt adapter with a four prong plug that for some reason Fanatec has decided to sell for $150, $160 plus tax and shipping. So yeah, that's that's not nice. That's not fair price. So uh, I amongst many have made a uh, DIY approach uh, boost kit. And as you can see, everything works properly. As you can see, everything's connected. You can see the wheel here is moving. And it's everything's good. I've actually borrowed a 180-watt uh, uh, boost kit and compared them. They're back-to-back. -back. It's the same. Everything works properly. So, And as you can see, it is being detected as a boost kit. Uh, that's the Fanatec. That's the Fanatec uh, utility here. Let me test the uh, force feedback. As you can hear it, everything works properly. Uh, the parts that you will need, everything can be purchased on Amazon, eBay, whatever your favorite source is. You will need a, uh, this is a four pin uh, female to male uh, extension that is used for CPU uh, on the computer, on the motherboard. Uh, that's what that looks like. Here's the title. And you can use an old power supply if you just cut this part off. Uh, that's all you need. So if you have an old power supply that's bad, you can use that and save yourself the $5. I didn't have one, so I purchased this thing. This is the adapter that you will need. It's a LED driver, 200 watts, 24 volt uh, adapter. As you can see, that's 4186 plus tax. He ends up being close to 40, $48, uh, I think, for both parts after tax, which is a third of what Fanatec wants for their stuff. So you can see here's the image, and I will show this on my kit afterwards. I just want to show the parts first and the listing so you can buy the exact things you need. As you can see, 24 volt, 200 watts, uh, waterproof, and it's all aluminum, so it dissipates heat very quickly. It's perfect. Uh, I have, as I said, I rented, borrowed uh, the Fanatec Boost Kit, and that one heated up in half an hour. It was, it was hot. And this thing I've used for four or five hours, and it's warm to the touch, but that's it. It stays very cool. So the other thing is there is two cables coming out of the output uh, there of the adapter. And each one has two cables, which is perfect because uh, you just plug in, you just wire them. You don't need to do any splicing or anything like that. It's very easy to do. So here is the wiring diagram. Uh, you can see the triangular ones. This is the four pin uh, CPU uh, connector that you will be using that first cable I showed in the in the video. Uh, the square ones are 24 volts and those will go to the red ones on the adapter. And then the triangular ones are both grounds and they will go to the black uh, cables on the adapter. So that's how you can tell the difference. Uh, 24 volt uh, squares, and then the triangular ones are ground, which is very nice because uh, very easy to tell. And then the this is the clip on the bottom here. That's the clip that you press to pull the cable out. Let me turn the light on here. So here is everything installed. As you can see, I have everything bolted down to the sim rig i don't want to take everything apart just to show it so as you can see the label everything's the same there's two cables that are coming out and then the power comes out on the other side here is the fanatec cable let me 
take that off. You can see I made it so it's a little nicer. And uh, let me shut the wheel off here. Okay, that's off. So now I can unplug. Here we go. You can see here is the cable there. Again, same thing. And here is this one. Or as I had it in my diagram, this is the clip that's on the bottom here. And uh, the square ones are the positives, which are 24 volts, and then the triangular one, which is top left and bottom right. Those are the grounds. So let's show this one here is the top right, which is a square one. And as you can see on mine, it goes to the green one, which is essentially the, let's see if I can show it a little closer here. You can see that's the red one, and then the blue is, uh, and the blue shrink tubing is uh, the black, which is the crown one. So you can use different kind of shrink tubing. That's what I had, so that's what I used. And that's, that's that. It's very simple to make. It's literally just you cut the female plug off of the extension and uh, you just solder those or you can even tie them. You don't need to solder them, but it's, it's nice to do, which will help the connections. But and that's the end of the guide. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to help. Now keep in mind this, it, this is a DIY, so if you end up uh, purchasing the wrong thing on accident or you purchase the wrong cable or wire it incorrectly, you may damage the wheelbase, so please don't hold me responsible for uh, mistakes that you may have made uh, wiring this up. So uh, again, I'll be glad to help uh, with anything I can in the comments, uh, let me know. If this was helpful, uh, let you know hit that like button. It really helps out uh, my tiny channel. So, thanks again for watching and have fun.